Hi guys and welcome back. I'm feeling like creating something in my sketchbook using my crayon rocks. So let's go. I'm probably thinking, what the heck are crayon rocks? Well, instead of me getting into that, I have another video that if I remember, I'll be linking to this video and it will explain everything you want to know about what crayon rocks actually are. But in the meantime, I'm actually going to be using them in this sketchbook, which I'm finishing off before starting my new one. And we're just going to do a spread using both the pages of this sketchbook. Hopefully you guys can see, if I move it up there, and we're just going to get going. And I'm thinking I'm going to do a bit of a beach scene. Now, I've already, as you can see, done a bit already of the outlining. So how are you guys today? Any news? Have you reached any milestones with your subscriber base yet? have to say mine has really taken off since Renata Kelly, a Brazilian artist who's like Br the Brazilian drawing with waffles version <laughs> and she needed help with the De La Rani charcoal tin that I tested on my channel you'll find that on my channel if you look and she needed help, didn't really know what it was and she came across my video on it and it helped her so much, she subscribed to my channel and she has over a million subscribers, most of them are Brazilian and she said thank you to me and since then my subscriber base has really increased daily I, I'm really so grateful to her because I was really slumping I was finding it so difficult to even get my first 100 because every time I got to 98 or 99, somebody unsubscribed from me. You know, it was always that battle of someone subscribing and then writing, and I could never get to my first 100. Um, even eight weeks later, I was still battling, and 12 weeks later, and it was just an utter nightmare. And then, she came along and since then I mean it really was a miracle for my YouTube channel I was so grateful to her and so yeah for me that has been the biggest milestone for me is so far I have gotten past 240 I was so grateful because I really, like us all, we all put so much work into our videos and I'm just looking for people who are interested in what I do and want to be engaged and want to subscribe and be part of our little community which I hope we will build together and all learn from each other and it will just be really nice if I can get um, exposure so that more people can find out about me and what I do. So we're just doing the beach part at the minute. You can't really, um, what's the word, I would say with crayon rocks they are a flat media so you're not going to be able to do um, really thick layered work they don't really layer you know they are basically just one color that you would use you can blend a little the two colors together and you'll see that in a minute when we do that um i do use uh cotton buds or you call them q-tips in america um, yes, sadly, they are plastic sticks um, until manufacturers create the paper sticked ones. I am stuck using the plastic versions. 
I am aware that they are not eco-friendly. Um, not much I can do about that because rolling up the paper isn't good enough uh, for what I need. The paper stumps are okay, but they are mainly for charcoal and graphite and they don't work very well for me using the, them for blending with the crayon rocks, the wax pastel. Uh, so yes, I do use cotton buds because I can get really fine detail with them and they work for me. So we're going to do that part. I'll probably just do a bit more of the royal blue. I think Crayon Rocks actually have bought out an autumn themed bag. Uh, you get lots of little bags of these, as you'll know from my first video, if you go and watch it. Um, and there's a new bag out for autumn colours. And I think that's quite nice because I actually own the, uh, what is it, a box, it's called a box of rocks. And I own that, the primary colour set because I get through a lot of crayon rocks and there were more, um, you got more rocks in the box than with the 32 colour box set. Um, it wouldn't last me very long. And so, yeah, I get through a lot. When I'm in the mood, you know, I always have them about somewhere because you can sketch with them. You, they're blendable. They are slightly mixable. Obviously, you can do your wax resist work and they are absolutely perfect because they're flat bottoms. I don't know if you can see here. A flat, they are flat on the bottom and they are perfect for doing those textured rubbings so I know most of you when you um, probably on school trips have to do you take a sheet of paper and a wax stick and you do rubbings on statues or in churches and the wax sticks you're given are really I have to admit rubbish <laughs> They're really bad. They break, they snap, crumble. They're not flat and you end up stabbing your paper. Uh, with these, they're perfect because they're already flat bottomed. They fit into your fingers perfectly and you just rub, rub, rub like this. As you can see, up and down, up and down. Very gently, obviously hold on to your paper and you get a really nice smooth finish. Now going to do the light blue on the waves. See, I'm going over the top of the royal blue. And it gives a creamy effect. The only thing I will say about the crayon rocks is I would prefer more shades of colors. I mean, I know they're really for, um, they're aimed at children, but adults use them too. And I am one of those adults. Um, I think they haven't been given much exposure and they're probably only known more, perhaps in Southern America. I'm not too sure of the geography of America, but they come from Kentucky. They're made there. And so, um, I would like more variety shades. So like with this orange, for example, I would love like a lighter orange, a darker orange, and in between colors of orange. And the red in particular, there's only one red. Um, that's a trouble for me because I would love a light, a lighter red, a middle red, a darker red all of the in-between colours. You get pink and you get orange, but there isn't any, you know, in-between colours. They are your basics, you know, and that's fine. But for me, I think they could also do well if they promoted them also to the art community. I think that would really help. Okay, so 
We've done the beach area and we've done the water and now I think we're going to do the sky. So we'll go back to the light blue and we'll go all the way down here. And obviously if you are allergic to soy, you're not going to buy crayon rocks because they are soy based. I just thought I would mention that in case you don't go and watch my first video about crayon rocks and you rush off to buy crayon rocks, you must remember that they are made 100% from soy, soybeans. And that's why they're in the shape they are, really. Well, no, there's two reasons. I'm not going to tell you any more, actually. You have to discover it for yourself in my other video. I really do enjoy using these. They're just, I always loved rocks as a child. Um, I was always collecting them. Always had rocks in, you know, prams, pushchairs, bricks, everything. <laughs> and when I saw these, I was really, really excited to think that you can actually draw now with rocks. I mean, it's brilliant. And they're not your regular, you know, children's trail. And if you try them yourself, you'll find out. And yep, they're light fast. Unlike your regular children's crayons, which are not light fast. I think we're going to do a bit of blending. I'll probably end up going into a time lapse because this does take a little time. But I wanted you to hear and see in real time, well, semi real time, obviously this is recorded, but semi real time, the, the crayon rocks in real life. You can see how they blend really, really nicely using the cotton bud. You do have to have a little bit of pressure when pushing, obviously, and you do have to have patience with the blending, but you can see it doesn't take that long, does it? blending, just this area, hasn't taken that long at all. And it just gives you two effects in one, the crayon rocks. You can either leave them unblended or blended. And I quite like the blended effect because it gets rid of the white area that the crayon texture leaves behind. And it also blends your other colours together. But I think we're going to go into a time lapse now because this is going to take some time and I'll see you afterwards.
is what it looks like when finished. So before I did this drawing, I warmed up with the crane rocks doing these two. So there's some fried eggs. You can see there. But can you see this orange stain? It is from this side of the page because you can't use the diluted milk to fix the, the crayons, the wax. Um, I suppose if you had one of those dangerous aerosol spray fixatives, it might work. But what I like to do, and I haven't got it with me at the minute, is to get a small sheet that is this size of the page of greaseproof paper because it's very thin. So you can protect by just putting, it, you can use a paper clip or um, just leave it loose. Just put it in there and close the book and the paper will protect. Um, I kind of just didn't have it to hand because I didn't really know I was going to do any crayon rocks. It was just a spur at the moment, but it will protect the other side of your page from getting spoiled. So this is a close-up of what we did. This is blended and this is not blended. And you can decide which side you like. Personally, I like to use both techniques. So for instance, I would have used the texture of the rocks over here so that it gave a bit more of a real realistic effect. I mean, don't get me wrong, both work. In the distance, you wouldn't see any jaggedness, but the closer you get, and this boat is a little closer, all the rocks, you know, are a little nearer from the looks of it. They look more jagged. But as you could see, it was difficult drawing on top of the yellow down here. And um, this didn't um, go very well. But you get the idea that it is shells, but rather giant shells, because you can't do small detail with the crayon rocks. But they're perfect for sketching and planning out your ideas. So I thank you for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. And don't forget to check out my first crayon rocks video. Catch you later. Bye.